to get CTV. Now guys, I am so excited to be making this video. This is a video I love to do at the start of every season and it is a prediction of how I think the top 10 in the Premier League table will finish by the end of the season. Now guys, I love doing this at the start of the season and then when it comes to the end of the Premier League season, I love reflecting on this video and seeing what I got right and wrong. So let's get into it. Just a quick message before I get into this video. This is me being really fair and realistic in this video. I'm going to make it as unbiased as possible. I'd love to just sit here and say as a Chelsea fan, oh yeah, Chelsea are going to win the league. But I don't think it's going to happen this season coming. Hopefully I'm wrong. Um, I don't want it, me to be right, obviously. I want us to win every piece of silver where we possibly can. But I'm just being 100% honest in this video. So don't want anyone to hate me for it. I'm just being real in it because I think these videos need to be real um, and true because if they're not then there's not really a point of making them if they're not fair and so yeah now guys I think Liverpool are gonna win the league this season now it does pain me to say it but I honestly do think they'll be challenging for the title and they'll win it now guys they have been the biggest spenders in this transfer window so far they've signed Alisson he was around 60 million if I, I think I'm right in saying that and um, he'll impact their side in a really good way I'd expect they've also signed Fabinho, Naby Keita and Shakira. Shakiri, I think that's how you pronounce his name. Um, so they've made four signings and they've obviously spent the most money so far. Um, and I mean, they got to the Champions League final last season. They did really well. But I did think they suffered quite a knock when they got rid of Coutinho, in all honesty. Um, I think they were quite reliant on him in the team. They did have good other players. But as I say, I do think they relied a lot on him and they missed him a lot. Um, but yeah, and they did finish fourth last season, so it's quite a big ask to expect them to win it. But Andy Robertson, their manager, said he is tipping his side to mount a serious Premier League title challenge. And even even if I get it wrong, even if they don't win the league, I do think they'll definitely finish in the top four. They even did last season, but I am expecting them to win the league this season. I honestly am. Um, let's hope I'm wrong, as I said, because obviously I want Chelsea to win the league, but I do honestly think they will win it. Now, guys, I personally think Man City will finish second in the table. Now, guys, I think Pep Guardiola will carry them forwards to get to that point, but I just can't see them really winning it for the second season in the row. It's very rarely done that. It's not very rare. It's quite rare for a team to win it back to back seasons, and I just can't see City doing it again. I do honestly think they'll finish second. Um, I mean, they're a great team. They've got really good world class players. Um, so yeah, nothing really much to say there, but I do think we'll finish second. Now guys, I think us Blues will finish third in the table this season. Now guys, I've got a lot of confidence for the new season. I think we're going to pose a big threat with Savvy being our manager. And I'm, I think it's, we've got a promising season ahead. Um, not just in the Premier League either, in all competitions. Um, I think... It's very clear to say that um, what we know of him so far. Sorry, likes to play attacking football. I think that'll do us favours in this new season. And I can't see why we won't finish third. Obviously, I'd like to see us finish second or first. But I definitely can see us getting in the top four for 100% sure. Um, but yeah, and I know it's hard to say anything about pre-season. Because not all players are back yet. Some are still on holiday. Um, so it's hard to make a judgement. But... We are showing promising signs in this pre-season so far. I mean, we've won all the games we've played, excuse me, so far. We're doing really well. So it's promising for the new season, I feel. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to back us. Well, not back us. Predict us to finish third. But, obviously, I wish we'll finish second or first. Now, guys, I personally think Manchester United will finish fourth in the table with Joel's Mourinho. Last season, they obviously finished second in the table, so obviously that's really good. Um, they didn't do bad at all, and I actually predicted Man United to win um, the league last season, I remember. 
But I do think they will get far this season. Um, Jose Mourinho has actually voiced his frustration at Manchester United lack of transfer activity this summer so far so he's obviously not happy with how their transfer windows go in so it's already not looking great for them is it really um he's already getting frustrated and it's not looking good um as i said they don't look to be signing many world-class top players um they are actually the only player that i've saw when i was researching earlier um the only player that i've saw them actually showing interest in and maybe going for is maguire from leicester but they don't seem to be back like going for any of them star names from like real madrid or barcelona or any teams like that so because they did have they did splash the cash a lot last summer and um, they obviously signed pogba and so many good players um so maybe that's why they've got a lack of transfer activity but they don't really seem to be back splashing the cash as such um so far so it's not really looking great for them so far so i'm backing them to go forth now guys i think tottenham will finish fifth in the table now they obviously finished third last season they've got a new ground coming which sprouts things up for them a little bit but pochettino has actually come out to the tottenham fans and told them not to worry because they've actually made not one signing in this transfer window so far and when you've only got two weeks till um obviously the season starts it's slightly worrying that your team has made no signings i mean i know i can't really say that because we've only made one but we're maybe expecting like a new goalkeeper to come in and stuff actually i'm lying too because we've had rob green come in but um he's a third choice goalkeeper so he's not like a first team player but we're expecting maybe like a new goalkeeper to come in to replace courtois so i know i can't really talk but they've made no transfers at all and there's only two weeks till the season starts um but it looks like they're working hard anyways um but they're, they're not bringing in any star names are they? they're not bringing in any big players so but it looks like they're working hard but i'd i'd just say they'll probably just finish fifth i can't see them finishing third like they did last season in all honesty um so yeah i'm going for them to finish fifth now, guys, I am saying this unconfidently for sure. I'm saying Arsenal to finish six. Now, I think like I'm being very unfair on Arsenal by saying this because obviously they've got Emery, the new manager. So, they might finish higher up in the table. They might even secure a top four position. But I'm going to stick with my guns and say six. Um, excuse the pun. Um, but... I'm not very confident about them finishing there, to be honest. Um, but I'm just going to put them six anyways. Um, obviously, as I said, they've got a new manager coming in. So they've, that, they've got him to spouse the team up a little bit. Um, a bit of background knowledge on their manager, actually. Um, football runs in his family. He's won the Europa League three times. Um, he was the manager of the world's most expensive player, which was obviously Neymar at PSG. And he's moved around Europe a lot. So obviously, like, to be the PSG manager is a big deal. So Arsenal, I was going to say Arsenal then. Arsenal are in secure and safe hands, I feel. Um, but yeah, I said maybe I should have put them in the top four. Um, but they did finish six last season. But having said all this, um, Steve Nicholl from the ESPN pundit has said... That the new signings Emery has got will not guide them to a top four finish this season. Um, they've made five new signings, but the squad they have right now, even with the signings they've made, in my opinion, isn't close to any of the teams that I expect to be in the top four. So that's what Nichols come out and said. Like, obviously, this is all just like I suppose prejudgments at the moment. You can't be too sure on anything, but yeah. It's a hard one to call for Arsenal. It's going to be interesting to see how they do. But I do think that they're going to pose more of a threat um, in the new season than they did last season. Um, but yeah, let's just see how they go. But I'm saying six for them. Now, guys, I think Everton will finish seventh in the table. Now, obviously, they finished eighth last season, but I always expect them to finish around this point in the season. Um, they've got a good team, they've got a passionate team, um, and I think they've got a good home support. Um, I always worry when we come to play Everton, you know. Um, they're a good team. 
and the strong. But I think this is all according if they keep Jordan Pickford or not. Um, I think they're in for a successful season if they do. I know you can't just rely on one player, but look what Jordan Pickford did in um, the World Cup for us. I, I mean, it was amazing. Um, so, yeah, I do, I do think they'll have a good season if Jordan Pickford stays. Um, as I said, they've always been a good side. They are, we always have a very good, tough game against them. Um, but Marco Silva has mit admitted that he doesn't want Jordan Pickford to go because they are in the mo current mode of building their squad. So it shows they're working hard and sticking to what they've got more so rather than bringing in loads of new players, which I respect them for that. I mean... It's not always the answer to completely rebuy a new team and fuel in loads of new players. It's sometimes good to just stick with what you've got and work with that. Um, so, yeah, very interesting. It'll be interesting to see how they do and see what happens with Jordan Pickford. But hopefully, sorry Everton fans, if any of you Everton fans are watching this, it comes to us. Now, guys, I think Leicester will finish 8th in the table. They obviously finished ninth last season, but I think they'll finish 8th. Um, they've got great players that did well in the World Cup. Obviously, Jamie Vardy, Harry Maguire, as long as Harry Maguire stays, actually, because obviously he's tipped to go to Manchester United. Um, but they've brought in five new players already, um, so they've obviously made a bit of transfer activity. They've got Everton, Kapsuka, Madison, Ricardo, and Ward. So it'd be interesting to see how they do in the new season. Season, but obviously they're trying to make new signings obviously sprouts the team up a little so yeah i do think they will finish eighth and obviously they didn't win the league they won the league not long ago and so yeah i do think they'll finish eighth now guys i think burnley will finish ninth and um, they did well last season and it's a, it's a team you always have to look out for in the Premier League. I do think the kind of underdogs. Um, whenever we seem to play them, we always do struggle against them. They're very passionate. They've got good players. Um, so, yeah, I'm tipping them to finish ninth. And finally, guys, 10th. I'm tipping Newcastle to finish 10th. Um, I think they're a very unpredictable team. They always do well. They all, we always have a massive fight against them. Um, but it's very interesting about Newcastle. And why I say they're unpredictable is because they weren't long relegated um, into the championship. And then not long after, they come back up and then they were getting a top 10 finish. Like, what on earth? Like, usually if a team just comes back up, you'd expect them to be in the second half of the table from 11th to 20th. But they did really well last season again. They finished 10th. Um, so it's a very hard team to call. Um, and they're not a bad side. So I would just say Newcastle finished 10th, to be honest. So thank you so much for watching, guys. Please like, comment, subscribe. Let me know down below all your thoughts and opinions. Um, how do you think the top 10 will finish? Let me know. Um, I'll be interacting with you guys in the comments. I'm really interested to hear what you guys have got to say and um, but yeah that's my top 10 finish so as i said i will make a video at the end of the season and see what i got right but i don't think that's too far off i've thought long and hard about it weighed up all the options um, and yeah that's all there is really to say but yeah up the channel thanks